All right, so this map's called Zombie Tower 3. I thought, you know, I've been away for about a week, so why not come back and do some kind of, not easy map, but we've got a tower map. And oh, the rounds are already progressing. Okay, we want to, we want to kill quick. I think it's made by the same person who did the previous zombie tower I did. Oh my god. Okay, let's, uh, oh, oh yes, this is not exactly the easiest thing in the world. Oh my lord. Okay, let's buy quick arrive. Holy shit. I'm just dead. It's fine. That's what my dumb ass gets for not buying quick revive immediately. So it looks like the tower is fairly big. Is that like some kind of thing at the very top we can drop down and get back here, I guess? All right, knife kills. I mean, it's round two, but for some reason, the zombies are still a one hit, which is interesting to me. Oh, never mind. Not anymore. Oh, God. This is... How is this already sketchy, man? Sheesh. Okay. I mean, we should probably buy whatever gun that is on the wall. Is that the RK5? Oh, it's ammo for this. What? Okay, then. I mean, I suppose it works. Jesus, this is... Oh, this is stressful. If you're wondering what camo I'm using, by the way, it's called Cherry Fizz. I don't know. It's one of my favorite camos in all of COD Zombies. All of COD in general, to be honest. Oh, what's this? Oh, yes. Slow them down. That's perfect. Kind of need that bad. I mean, how much is this actual door? Because we can head off. Uh, it's 2,000. Perfect. We've got a power switch part. An RK5. I mean, that is exactly what we need right now, to be honest. Oh, we've got another drop. This is a nuke. I mean, we can get that in a second, actually, and look for the next power part. Okay, it looks like it's about to run out. Oh, my God. Right now? <laughs> that was close. Shit, dude. Oh, here we go. It's right in the, uh, the little spawn. Got a double point. Uh, is this where we build it? We do. Come on, build it quick. There we go. Turn on the power. Nice and easy, bro. This isn't the most difficult challenge in the world. I was actually considering doing octagonal ascension, but I mean, for a first map back after being away for like, what, six days or something? No keyboard or mouse. It would be a bit challenging. I will indeed be doing that soon, though. Oh, this drop gives us like speed boost. Oh, infinite ammo. I need that because <laughs> I have absolutely nothing in my RK5. Oh, we've got like 6k points. I mean, typically in these maps, like Juggernaut isn't going to be until the very top, probably. So as long as we can get our hands on something like double tap, I'd be happy. Double tap would be nice. All right. Well, we've pretty much cleared out all of the zombies that have spawned in. So I'm going to make use of this insta kill while we have it. Oh, that's ammo gone. Okay, we're actually all out of ammo now. Last shot. Okay, that's it. <laughs> of course, I get a death machine the second my ammo runs out. That's actually, that's that's not scripted, I swear. Very useful. I want to do some more challenge maps. It's been a while since we've done any. Gotta say, I appreciate all the support on not only the Origins 50 Perks video, because that's just getting like ridiculous amounts of views and in engagement in general, but also the five hour long cause and effect marathon video thing we did, which was just uh, an, an extremely fun video to make. Uh, how much is this? 4,000? God. Okay, as long as there's a gun here, there's a KRM. I mean, it's not exactly the best gun in the world, but if it does the job, it does the job. I'm just, oh my god, as soon as I have to reload, this is going to be uh, very sketchy, I think. We've got some kind of a soul box here. It's like a teddy bear. Uh, thank god we have a fast mags on, because that would be uh, a bit of a nightmare. I'm actually tempted to just buy speed cola immediately. Oh, thank god. You know, honestly, I'm still going to do it. Having the KRM without speed cola is a little bit tragic. I guess we'll try and fill up this teddy bear first. I do like the aesthetic of this map. I know it's like a, just a box. You can just see all the way into the... Oh my god, hello. Flipping hell. That was close. I was going to say I like the whole jungle, like the... Well, not jungle, but you know, the trees, I guess. It looks cool. All right. Nice and fast reload. The next door is like 5k, which is ridiculous, but it's fine. The speed boots are good, but I mean, as soon as we get to the top, it's not really going to do much. Like if we can't run any further up, but anyway. Let me know down in the comment section, what's your favorite custom zombies map of all time? I know some people would say like Leviathan, maybe Cheese Cube. That's like one of the most popular ones. I do love some Cheese Cube as well. Oh, we got a free perk. Nice. What do we get? PhD Flopper. I mean, sure. Is it the, the slide? Oh, no, it's not the slide one. Okay. Probably just uh, explosive immunity or something. I want that double points really bad. Give me. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sliding into the zombies and I'm acting surprised. Like, bro, I want to fill up that other teddy bear. But typically what happens is the first one will give you a perk. Then the next one will give you like maybe a gun or something. But I wouldn't exactly say no to a gun right now. Jesus. Five minutes in and we're on round 10. That's actually quite nuts. Oh, the time one. Yes, perfect. Actually gives me chance to, to catch up with this experience. Look how big that teddy bear is. Jesus. Like almost as tall as me, bro. What's this? Uh, oh, infinite ammo. Perfect. I mean, you know, it would be great if the zombies were actually in range. Oh, that one was. Okay, nice. Bro, you're so big. Can you just... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Like two more kills, I think, and we'll get it. 
Oh, it's a death machine. Oh, but I can't get to it. Is it really worth risking my life for? I don't think so. I need something that just fires faster. I mean, a death machine would be perfect. I actually have to open this door. I'm also going to buy a double tap. Please tell me this. Okay, we're firing a bit quicker. Oh, this is risky. Oh, shit. Oh, of course. It's always the last one, man. If I wasn't mid-reload, that would have actually been better. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. By the Pharaoh, I guess. I mean, it's not exactly the best gun, but it does shoot a lot of bullets, I suppose. If I'd have got my death machine, it would have helped out a lot, but we got double tap. Double tap plus the Pharaoh, actually not too bad. We don't have quick revive now, though, which is a little bit sketchy. Oh, <gasps> death machine. Oh, I want it. Gimme. There we go. Now I can push them back. Jesus, man. Oh, I should have actually saved that insta kill. I'm going to save this little time slip thingy or whatever it's called. Oh, and another insta kill. Okay. Oh, this is good. We can actually push down. Um, Actually, no, I'm going to wait for the thing to run out because we can go and get quick revive now. Right, boom. I'm going to grab this before it runs out. Death Machine's about to go as well. All right, buy Quick Revive. I just realized my Pharaoh is now out of ammo. Oh, shit. All right, I'm going to buy Speed Cola again. I guess we'll buy Pharaoh ammo. How much is this door? 6,000, bro. Okay. Well, I mean, honestly, the Pharaoh doing me kind of well. Got a fast reload. You know, it's not, it's not terrible. What does that drop? That is a nuke. Something I would like to pick up probably, but... Oh, a max. Nice. Just after I buy ammo, isn't it always the way? All right, well, we can open this door now, actually. Another teddy bear, of course. What is this? The Vespa? I mean, don't get me wrong. Vespa's a great gun, but it kind of... I mean, it's better than the KRM, but it's just like... Oh, hello. We can actually drop down. That's sketch. What's down there? Interesting. Some kind of, like, Easter egg room, maybe. But what I was going to say was the Vespa just runs out of ammo so quickly. All right, let's try and fill up this teddy bear. Maybe we can get... I don't want to get PhD again. That would be kind of tragic, since we don't have an explosive gun. You know, it'd be great if I had Mustang and Sally's, but I don't. So, um, something useful, please. I'd like to just take a death machine as well. Oh, what's this? Oh, we got a KRM. Bro, it's not even pack-a-punched as well. Come on, how are you going to do that to me? I mean, we got a death machine anyway. Cool. The game was like, yeah, we'll throw you a bone here. Oh, and a double points. Let's go. Can't get much better. I'm tempted to almost buy Deadshot in case we get another free perk so I can actually not get that as the free perk kind of thing. But, you know, I don't want to risk if there's a four perk limit because we kind of need Jug on this map. One thing I know as well is... Oh, God. Okay, no ammo. But I was going to say, one thing I do know is the buyable ending, I think, is 150,000 points. Which is just mind blowing, to be honest. <laughs> like that is uh, that's a that's a bit tall feat, to say the least. All right, well, let's buy this door. Lay down by you. What gun is this? The Cuda. I'll take it. Got stamina up here. Next door, seven thousand. I'm not gonna bother with mule kick until we actually get a gun. Not gun, a juggernog. Because yeah, I'll just down and lose the gun. Otherwise, it's not Cold War mule kick. Sadly, I don't think Cuda's gotta be one of my favorite guns of all time, though. This is definitely gonna help us out. Ooh, and a max. Hell yes. Fill up the old teddy bear. What are you going to give me? Hey, another perk. Let's go. And it gave me stamina up. Nice. Actually kind of huge. It feels great to be playing zombies again after taking like just a small break. I mean, it, it was nothing crazy, you know. Back in what, 2019 or was it 2018 when Black Ops 4 came out? I played Black Ops 4 for about maybe two weeks and then I moved on to League of Legends. <laughs> so, and then I took like a long break of maybe three years until Cold War came out and then I came back a bit because yeah, I really just, zombies didn't do it for me. Fucking hell bro he just absolutely demolished me oh can i please get that nuke it's gonna run out of course okay get that insta kill that's good that's fine that's what we need just push them back buy this again typical but it's fine we're not dead it's a problem when you don't have jug you just sort of make uh poor judgments i think is the uh the phrase i'm looking for buy this i guess we'll buy the next door we got 4k bro what's on the wall a weevil you think i'm buy a weevil who's who like come on man i mean i guess the weevil has a lot of ammo but i think the vespa's better <laughs> oh my god that was almost a death jesus man can we chill out come on cuda come on cuda give me give me any kind of drop here man i'm gonna I'm, i need it we've got to aim for headshots god can we not with the headless zombies hello zombies oh we actually filled this one up what did it give me oh the dingo hell yeah i'll take a dingo I think that was actually our savior that's going to help us win this map now. Of course, a link to this map will be in the description if you want to play it for yourself. Some people were actually asking, how do you get like custom maps and mods on Black Ops 3? You have to have it on PC and then you go onto the Steam Workshop and you search for whatever it is. Oh, I got who's who. Brilliant. Oh, great. Uh, well, this is 8K. Sure, we'll buy the door. What gun is it? The Man of War. Fight! 
thousand points? I mean, we do have the dingo now, so like I could actually save up for Packet Punch. I think we're coming close to the top. Yeah, there's only one more floor, maybe. I think what I'm going to do, actually, is use the Cooter until we run out of ammo and then switch to the Dingo because it's just so good. I don't want to waste it, you know. Speedy Boots, sure. Speedy Gonzalez, let's go. I would like to push back down to the bottom of the tower because... Oh, infinite ammo, that helps. I was going to say I'd love to get, like, a nuke so I can just go and buy Quick Revive. I think we're on our last one already, but this map is definitely not easy, that's for sure. Just spray with the infinite ammo. Any drops? Come on, something. Oh, time warp thing. I think that's what it's called. Time warp? Yeah, there we go. Buy Revive. Actually, while I'm here, how do you get access to this room? What is it? 10,000 points? I'd rather go towards Jug, to be honest, but... Oh, double. Let's go. Yeah, that was our last quick revive. Tragic. It is what it is, dude. We can win. Bro, sometimes I'm actually missing these headshots because they're so slow that I'm, like, predicting they're going to move. Having a goofball moment. Okay, we're almost at, like, 20,000 points, though. We're doing really well. What's that? Another time warp? Oh, I'm going to get my hands on that real quick. Our dingo's actually really running low on ammo. Um, You know, while they're all slow, I'm going to quickly run up. But dingo isn't a war weapon, which is the only sad part. No matter what, we can go to the top, though, now, I think, so... Here we go, 8,000 points, and we are at the top. So, what's here? We've got oh, more doors, 9,000 points. I mean, we've got Jug. I'm going to immediately pack a punch, though, because we, we need it. This is a cool aesthetic, though. We've got, like, some hidden room at the top where the zombies are. Okay, I think I hear them. Oh, here we go. Nice. Oh, and we've got a death machine just immediately. Brilliant. We've already got enough for Jug now, which is great. Got an infinite ammo and an insta-kill? Oh, you're just spoiling me now, game. Well, we got a VMP. I mean, eh, I'll take it over the Cooter, I suppose. It's better than nothing. Gonna buy stamina up. I don't know why I'm buying stamina up before Jug. Gotta chase down these zombies so I can actually use the insta-kill, lol. Oh, a max ammo. Nice. I mean, we don't need it now because we have actually got ammo in the dingo, but how in the hell are we gonna get 150k for this viable ending? Oh, is that the Tommy gun? Oh, it is. Nice. That would actually be really good for points. But here we go. Buy Jug. And I feel safe again. What's this? Ingredients required? What? I gotta cook? <laughs> Am I making super noodles, bro? Which, by the way, one of my favorite, like, quick meals to do. I used to do them in the microwave, and it just, they made them so stodgy. Doing it on a stove is just infinitely better. It has this, like, soupy effect that it gives it with the, uh, the water you put in. And the flavor packet or whatever. I don't know if anyone actually knows what I'm talking about. I don't think there are super noodles in America. So if you're from the UK, you might understand what I'm talking about. But, oh, death machine. Let's go. Go Rambo mode. Where you at, zombies? God, they're really all the way down here. Blah, da, 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 da. Man, my tummy is rumbling. Apparently, I actually learned this recently. In, is it Japan? If your stomach rumbles, like, you get really, really embarrassed, which is interesting. I think I, I learned that from an anime of some kind. I think it was called Newcom. I don't know what the full name of the English version of the anime is, but it's it's very long. But yeah, I've been watching a few different animes recently. Um, The most recent one, technically an anime, I'm watching the new Scott Pilgrim, which I'm liking it so far. I haven't actually seen the movie, but I plan on watching that pretty soon. Soon. It's good though, you know? It's weird hearing it in English because whenever I watch anime, typically I'll watch it Japanese with um, subtitles. Which is funny because when I first started out with, I think, Demon Slayer or something, I did English like voice, but for whatever reason, uh, recently I've just been more like, you know, I can deal with the fact they're talking in Japanese. I can read fast enough, you know? Oh, and I know I get a few comments saying, how are you leveling up guns? I'm basically using the boy client. Unfortunately, it's not publicly available anymore. I literally just use it for the stability when recording because Black Ops 3 isn't exactly the most stable game in the world for frames on PC. So yeah, you can't get your hands on the boy client anymore, which it does suck. I mean, the whole situation with it was awful, but for the sake of making videos and recording them smoothly, I'm still going to occasionally use it. You can use mods and custom maps and stuff. If you turn your Steam in offline mode, I know for some reason it wasn't working before, like just randomly stopped working, but now that is the fix. Oh, and we are fully out of ammo. Gotta turn a light on, dude. It's only th half 3 p.m., man. Like, I love the winter and the autumn time, but Jesus. Uh, well, I guess this is a good time for us to buy the Tommy gun, then. Should we even pack a punch it? Because I feel like getting the points is probably better not to. But here we go. What is actually up here, then? Because, I mean, the Bible ending is in here, I'm guessing. What is, what is going on? Open door? Another door. What am I? So many doors. I'm just wasting all my money at this point. Oh, we have some kind of... Is that an ingredient? Yeah. Like a fish. 
I want to pick up the ingredient. Give me. You do not have enough money. Oh, end the game. 150k. Well, there we go. Here come the zombos. Thankfully, the Tommy gun is good enough to kill right now. Oh, double. Let's go. That's exactly what I needed. And an infinite ammo. Oh, you're just absolutely spoiling me now. And a max. Oh my god. Just, just stay winning, apparently. Charlie Sheen. I watched a Charlie Sheen movie the other day, actually. It was called Hot Shots. Dude, that was so funny. I mean, all the jokes are just so stupid, but it's one of those where eventually one of the stupid jokes will get you and you'll just laugh. I'm a big fan of, like, just goofy movies like that. Um, well, we can't get ingredients. Spawn power up. That's cool. Do we go for a mystery box spin? I mean, I don't have mule kick yet, so is there really a point? Yeah, like, I just got a bloody pharaoh from the box, bro. I just, I want to open these doors and see what's here. Like, what? It... Huh? Do I dare take this? Oh, screw it. I've got a dingo. It's fine. Where is this taking me, bro? Where am I? What? Huh? I'm in the spot. Ooh, okay. I mean, this is moderately terrifying. Open door. What on earth is happening, man? Just a giant corridor. This reminds me of the Plants vs. Zombies map, actually. What am I looking for? Lil Arnie's? <laughs> I mean, I'll take them, actually. Wait, I bought them. What happened? I can't switch gun. Did it? It took my... Oh, you, you're serious. I bought Lil Arnie's and I lost my dingo and I can't even buy the door to get back. What? What? I'm, I'm lost for words. What, what is happening, dude? I don't even have points to leave. Buy this door, I guess. A thousand. Oh, it's an XM53 for 10,000 points. I guess with PhD, it's nice. What? So I'm just screwed is what you're telling me. Oh, I hear all the zombies. They're all like piling up out there. Uh, maybe I can... Oh, I can't even shoot through this, man. Perhaps if I can kill them, I can... Uh... Oh, yeah. Throw a little army, obviously. Duh. Well, that's got me 1,500 points. God, bro. Can I just open this door? Does this take me back? What? What is happening? Why is there a teddy bear in here and some ingredient of some kind what have i done what what's happened I mean, there's, a, there's a teddy bear here so like it implies that the zombies can get to you but i haven't seen any and at the door for a thousand what what is this maze bro in here vulture raid cool i guess we'll just throw another little arnie what is happening oh shit i threw it over here oh, whatever i mean we can actually shoot them now, I suppose. Cool. It was going so well, and then I got myself stuck. All right, well, I'm going to throw another one over there this time. Bounced off the zombie's head. Cool. I mean, should we get enough of a 5,000 door or something? I mean, what? we have a 1,000 door here. Oh, this just takes us here. Bloody hell. Well, I'll throw some grenades. Maybe that'll help. Well, it gave us the 5K. I mean, is this going to allow me to escape now? Is it like an elevator or something? Please. It's just... A just for a rocket shield which don't get me wrong is a great reward but like i'm not stupid there there is no prompt to actually leave this right well i guess i'll buy the rocket shield like there are two more doors for a thousand points each and is that the only thing i haven't got yet i completely forgot that i lost the dingo as well oh it's just brilliant i mean it would be nice if i could just no clip real quick i mean can i actually do that slash no clip does that let me? No, it doesn't allow me, damn it. Oh, I got two more grenades because the round ended, actually. That's good. All right, well, we've got door here. What's this? Literally nothing. Oh, a wonder waff. A wonder waff on the wall. I mean, that's cool. Don't get me wrong. But what about in here? I can't even go in here, apparently. What? It's just a bait door. There's a thunder gun on the wall. I can't get... <laughs> Why can't I go in? Well, I opened all the doors. Unless I'm missing some over here, maybe? No? Absolutely amazing. I can't believe I got trapped, dude. I guess I'll try and rocket shield out. No, of course that didn't work. Try it again. Nope. Oh, and I'm out of ammo. Yep. Yeah, well, I guess we'll have to end the video here. Uh, my apologies. I wasn't expecting to get completely cucked like that. But to be fair, we did actually see the entirety of the tower, I believe. The only other extra rooms were like bonus rooms that would have done pretty much the exact same thing as this, I guess. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen. YouTube recommends it and says you might like it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.